laid on man in his nature the responsibility to do what? God gave man power, dominion over the fowl of the air, the fish of the sea, and every creeping thing that crawls. God told man, multiply, replenish the earth, and subdue it. And he put woman there to help the man to meet what God had put on man to do. Well, if the man ain't doing nothing, then how can you help a man do nothing? So when you meet a man, he's handsome, he's good looking, he's beautiful, he has a good rap, then you ask him, what you doing? I ain't doing nothing. Where you going? I ain't going no place. Well, what do you want to be bothered with somebody who's going nowhere doing nothing? That's not who you are. And that's why most of you are unhappy women. And that's why you get married and divorced so quickly. It's because something is missing in the marriage and you don't quite understand what it is. But it's not the man's fault. Sisters, don't blame him. He's not going to be the man that he could be unless you help him to become the man that he should be. And in order for him to be that kind of man, you got to know who he is, know who you are, and then above all, know how to move him to the goal that God wants him to be at. You got to know how to do that. Otherwise, he will be living in your mouth like a dentist. And sisters, you know you are suffering from great abuse. There's hardly a woman in this audience who hasn't been beaten by some man. Although some of you are getting pretty tough. <laughs> you beating up your husbands nowadays. <laughs> None of that should be necessary. But in this world, sisters, the white male could not stand for the black male to have power and dominion. So the white male broke the black male so that he is powerless without dominion. So now, once your man is broken, you become fair game for the victim. They call it in war the spoils of war, and they call the spoils of war booty. Now, sisters, that is what the black woman has become to the slave master's children. You are the booty or the prize that he has access to since he has conquered and destroyed your man. And then you will sing songs, shake your booty, And you will do dances that suggest that that's who and what you are. In the 1960s, singing groups called themselves the Supremes. Supreme meaning the highest. Today, our women are calling themselves bitches with problems and whores with attitudes and we have accepted that that 
shows you how far down our women have fallen. And if a nation can rise no higher than its woman, and our women are looked at as bitches and whores, and this is accepted in the society, then the nation has gone to hell because they have lowered the woman down. 